hello guys welcome back to another video of automation test insider so today i'm going to talk about an important topic that is defect leakage so let's get started so what do you mean by defect leakage so some of the defects are escaped from one level to the next level of testing is called defect leakage so what happens is while doing the testing as a tester when we perform testing so some of the defects are missed by the testing team team and found during the uat test uat testing which is nothing but the user acceptance testing by the end user if some defects are missed by the testing team and caught during the uat testing or in production if those defects are found during uh, uat testing or in production so that is nothing but the defect leakage because those are missed from one level and found in the next level right which are missed during uat uh, during software testing by the testing team and found in uat or in production so that is nothing but the defect leakage in other words a defect which exists during testing yet unfound by the tester which is eventually found by the end user is also called bug leakage so this is also called bug leakage guys bug leakage or you can say simply defect leakage defect leakage is the metric which is used to identify the efficiency of the qa testing that is how many defects are missed slipped during qa testing so this is one of the metrics guys we used to uh, use this to measure the efficiency of the qa testing defect leakage formula so what is the formula of the defect le leakage how we calculate the defect leakage so we have formula cd divided by dr minus id so what is cd so cd is nothing but the defects found during uat testing or in production divided by defect raised by the testing team minus invalid defect so defects found during uat testing or in or in uh, production defects found in production divided by dr defect raised by the testing team minus invalid defects multiplied by 100 so let me give you an example so let's say we found 10 defects in production or maybe we found during uat testing 10 defects 10 defects found by the end user divided by let's say 200 defects raised by the testing team minus 20 defects are invalid in those 200 so that means 10 divided by 180 so it will come around 5.5 percent correct correct guys so that is nothing but the defect leakage percentage so 5.5 percent defects are slipped from one level to the another level from qa testing to the uat level uh, to which is caught by the end user correct so ideally if you have like five to ten percent that is kind of acceptable but, but if it is beyond that like 15 or 20 percent so we need to really think about our Q, uh, qa testing process we need to improve the process to minimize the defect leakage so let's talk about like what are the various reason we used to get the defect leakage and how we can minimize the defect leakage so what are the various reasons guys we used to get the defect which are missed during uh, software testing which are which are missed by the tester and found during uat testing or in production so absence of absence of proper review process review process so this is one of the important point guys so when we we are unable to do the proper review process then we miss some functionality like uh, we need to do the proper uh, review process while uh, reviewing the test cases or reviewing the complete testing process so we should do the proper review process right in case if you are unable to do so then we miss some functionality and uh, the defects where uh, defects will be found in production or in uat another reason could be environmental differences so sometimes what happens is uh, when we do testing in our testing environment so some of the functionalities we are unable to test properly right and during the uat testing the environment is different so they are unable to they are able to reproduce the defect or defect is caught during the production environment okay so that is one of the uh, one more reason another reason could be missed test cases so this is important point guys missed test cases if you are unable to 
write the test cases for any particular functionalities and then obviously if you are unable to test that then definitely the chances of getting the defect in the UAT environment or production environment will be more. Another reason could be poor design test cases. Poor design test cases. Poor design test cases because of misunderstanding of the requirement by the testing team. So that is one of the reasons. Another reason could be incorrect deployment. Incorrect deployment. Inco incorrect deployment into production or in UAT environment. In UAT environment or in production environment. So that is another reason for defect leakage. Another reason could be that is also important which is incorrect data incorrect data so if we if you are not able to use proper test data so definitely the chances of defect leakage is more right so we should do the proper uh, testing and also you should uh, uh, use the proper test data correct to test any particular functionality so these are the various reasons guys now let me just talk about some of the um, prevention techniques or prevention uh, points which we can uh, using which we can minimize the defect leakage so the first point is we should do the proper review process proper review process of our uh, testing or proper review of our test cases another point is design proper test cases or we can say the coverage of the testing should be proper coverage proper coverage proper coverage of the requirements right so we should understand the requirement well and then write the test cases accordingly and then coverage should also be 100%. Another point is we can focus on some of the functionalities where the defect leakage chances is more. So that is another point guys. So focus, focus on modules, modules where chances of defects is more. And we should do the proper regression testing guys. Proper regression testing. Proper regression testing. Regression testing. To make sure the impact of the functionality in other modules. Okay. So these are the various points guys which we should uh, take care while doing the testing process. Okay. While doing the testing. So if you follow this process then definitely will minimize the defect leakage percentage. Right. So guys, if you have more techniques or if you have more points, then you can write in the comment box. And still, if you have any questions, then please write your questions in the comment box of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.